So guys, good morning, good morning, and Ryan, and I'm back. Finally, I traded today. I I woke up like three minutes before the open. Turned on my machine. I saw a ride and wish in my watch list. I didn't have anything. Not watch list in my screener. And okay, I've traded wish. Maybe I can trade it again. I didn't have any levels on ride and wish. I'm still using the same levels I had before. It was just I didn't want to trade, but my body keeps waking up. Um, I tried tried to sleep, but three minutes before the open, I sat at my desk, did the usual, and then eventually worked. I still have my previous, <laughs> I still have my previous um lines uh my lines here eleven dollars somewhere here and i feel like it's still gonna go to 12 50 13 if this keeps holding above this price at 10 10 50 area or 10 75 i still feel like it's still gonna go 12 dollars 12 50 and then eventually it's gonna go but look at that so what i did right in the open i traded it really good move um took it long one minute orb uh when it rejected and then it went back to vwap uh traded opening price 1117 but i entered some 1120 area really good took profit took profit i saw 1150 here but took majority of it so i have a really small size added here just small added added stopped out and then i gave back a bit in my profit but it's still good and then here this is the, the the mess that i did um because it was a round number 11 dollars and only move about 50 cents within the day and i feel like it's still gonna I still have time to recover um and it, because it rejected with this uh 11 dollars a few times here and then i was hoping it's gonna go back to opening price and eventually move up and then I stopped out because I didn't wanna I didn't want this drop on me. And then I was a bit tight in here. So I gave back majority of my profit. I'm still green at this point, but I just gave back basically almost everything. And then I said, okay, maybe it's gonna try again. So I I, I re-entered, took profit, took profit. So I it gained my confidence and I added back here because I took majority of it because I whatever whatever I gave back, I just wanna take it again. And then added here, stopped out the rest at break even. Then I said, okay, one last try, one last try for a break of this opening price and VWAP. There, at this point, I was really tight. I think I was risking 10 cents on this one. Here, risking 10.95 something. Like here, low of day. And then actually dropped. I got scared. I said, oh my God, what am I doing? I have eleven dollars here for me to su uh, support it. Um, it rejected again. I said, "Okay, it's gonna it's gonna blow up now because it it's rejecting that that eleven dollars in there." Uh, took profit, took profit. Uh, two to one move, but I probably got only less than uh more than a more than more than one R in there. But since you know, I still was still holding some shares here. Uh, because um. I, I this is the move that I wanted. Imagine if this is where I entered. This could have been just an easy trade, four to one move because I was risking ten cents. But yeah. Oh well, but it's all good. And then I traded ride. You can see here I traded ride because you know we missed this. We missed the move. So I traded ride for a short at this pre market high. This is this is pre market high. I think uh market high yes pre market high here uh not much happening in pre market but this was in my list i didn't have a chance to write all my support resistance and then shorted it here hoping for a breakdown of 1050 and breakdown of um vwap eventually come here back come come back here didn't work good thing i didn't do that and look at that it went all the way up so always respect so yeah, um, before everything else, uh, you know what to do, subscribe to my channel for updates and follow me on my social media accounts. Let's make this quick and let's watch my live trade. Yeah, so as you can see here, 929, I was like, 
really, really out of time. The plane about to open. Yep. There you go. It opened right at eleven seventeen here at this area here. So yeah, I had to restart my machine because it was kind of lagging at, at that point. So it's kind of late to be here. Uh, so eleven twenty one, risking this slow day. There you go. That was the move I wanted, just like that, super quick, super super. We got really good partial in there. Really quick trade. Yeah, I actually took majority of my shares here. And I said, okay, since it's probably going to move up more, I still have a little bit of my share, actually just 10% left. And then I added back in new average is somewhere at here, 30, yeah, 30. I should have. And I, I, caught, I got caught in this drop and I said, okay, let me enter a full size again to have a better average. This point still not full size. This is half size. I'm in half size here. New average is 33. I should have gotten out in here when it went back to my break even, but I did not. Because I was greedy. I was hoping for another move and then it rejected again. That okay, it's kind of holding VWAP, right? So it's kind of like, kind of have like a confidence here. And there's a daily level here that I've, I've had previously. Uh, previously. So average is 31, 91, which is about 32. I can actually get out here now. I don't give back any of my profit. I can probably stop out at 25, maybe risk five cents. So five cents, yeah. So I stopped out even before 25, I stopped out at 26. I get back very minimal shares in there. That was good. That was really good. So since I, I averaged down, right? So my average came back somewhere here and I that was not, that was kind of like almost a full size, but um it was my stop out was not really that far i think that was a five cent loss in there uh 20 cents so probably i lost 25 my, my profit in there but so yeah there you go so it, it dropped look at that i kind of stopped out in there it's pretty good uh, management skills in there proper man time risk management skills in there um I saw that it's kind of rejecting $11 and then there's like two wicks here above it. Uh, the open and close is above this $11. It's here, it's 11 again. That's that's what I was using to trade off of. So this is 20 cent risk. Uh, two to one will be 11.45. This is uh, 20 cent because I'm not really sure about this. So 11.05, 03. I think I got caught in a drop here. I see wicks here. I'm seeing wicks, so it looks like it's gonna go to in. That's why I even sent an order in there. And it's dropping. That if it goes below eleven dollars, I'm gonna stop out. Looking, yeah, I so basically that's like 10, 10 cent. So that's a half loss, half our loss. Basically I gave back half my profit. More than half of my profit. And I was kind of emotional at this point now. Yeah, I've been, I've been traded like really tight risk in here. By losing this trade, I'm probably going to red. Um, I'm trying to follow my proper risk reward now and trying to be more risk riskier in my trades. Because in the past, I've only been taking. Okay, let's see. In the past, I've only been taking small profits. I haven't been risking a lot. Uh, yeah. There you go to profit. That was a good one, more than one to one move. 
I was risking 10 cents there, right? Really took more profit in here. I was out half this point here. Okay, so basically gain back all oh, whatever I lost in here. Mm -hmm. Give me one sec. Uh, sorry, I had to pause my recording there. So, uh, there you go. What I do here. So I stopped out, re entered, and I think I got stopped here again for this. I'm in a hurry right now. What I did here, I added, and I stopped out. Adding so eleven dollars so three so that was new average after adding. Sorry about that distraction. I had to thing. Step I have to step out of my desk. So stopped out in there. Uh, I shorted um right, risking the high of day. I needed like a 20 cent move here or quick move so I took profit in there that was a quick a quick profit actually <clears throat> but it did not follow through and I stopped out of break even so I had to fast forward this to leave so re-entered here uh, after failing on ride I didn't want to chase ride so I re-entered here risking this low of 11 there you go. So really hoping for a breakout, breakout of uh, this opening price here, all the way to uh, thirty-five, maybe at least. Big profit. So I took majority of my shares there, I think. Yes, so I have uh, probably 20% in there left. Really can't remember what I did here next. I I need to fast forward this, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, so I stopped out in there. Uh, that was a good profit. So I actually uh, reached more than my goal now at this point. Um, that was good. And I think eventually this moved up really crazy to 35 which that was kind of my plan but i have to stop this now uh yeah so eventually i when i stopped out i eventually went up to 35 that was the plan and look what happened and tested 11 again so when it tested 11 again, it dropped really heavy to uh, 1085 area, which is uh, low of this 1082. So I think that was it. Ride, look at ride. It this things happen, man. Seriously, um, just wants it to go back to VWAP and then just drop. And it's, trading is like that. So you have to respect your stop all the time and you should know always know where to exit because this things happen like this like it just goes up and down up and down up and down and just very emotional sometimes and psychological yeah so sorry about that i had to leave now uh things to do and thank you for watching if you like my video subscribe to my channel and follow me in my social media accounts if you have any questions just comment down below and i'll get back to you have a good day. See you guys hopefully tomorrow if I don't be late and do OT at work. I wish I have time to trade tomorrow. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.